hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this little drawstring bag so what you're gonna need is you'll need um, yarn so this is acrylic yarn acrylic and cotton yarn it's a uh, thin yarn but I'm going to use the them as double so that uh, I come up with the thick stitches and then also I use a blue yarn to make the string and I use the crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters I don't think you can see it on camera but it's 2.5 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so uh, we're going to start with a chain 29 or according to the size that you want so for this pattern you have to make chains in multiples of 6 plus 5 so for example you can make uh, 18 stitches and then you have to add five more stitches five more chains that is or you can make 24 stitches and then you have to add five more chains okay so that will be like 29 chains or you can make uh, 30 uh, 30 chains and then you add five so that will be 35 stitches okay so now we're going to start uh, in my case I'm going to start with a chain 29 and then uh, from there we're going to start uh, with the fourth chain from the hook so we're going to count one two three and then the fourth chain and then we're going to do double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook okay so we do double crochet and then after that we're going to skip two chains so we have to count one two and then we go to the third chain and in the third chain uh, we're going to start by doing three double crochet in the same chain okay so one two the first double crochet and then do the second double crochet in the same chain and the third double crochet also in the same chain okay and then after that we're going to do a chain two so we're going to do chain one and two and then after we do that in the same chain that we did three double crochet we're going to do again three double crochet in the same chain so we're going to do one and then two and another double crochet so making it so making it six double crochet in the same chain okay so as you can see we have three double crochet and then two chains and three double crochet so we have six double crochet in the same uh, chain okay so after we do that uh, next one we are going to skip two stitches uh, two chains so we're going to do to count one two and then in the third chain we're going to do a double crochet so one two then in the third one we do double crochet okay so this is how it's gonna look like so and then from there we're going to start uh, repeating that so uh, in the next one we're going to skip two chains so we're going to count one two and then repeat the same pattern so three double crochet chain two three double crochet so one two and then we go in the next in the third chain we do three double crochet so one two and then three and then we do a chain two so chain one two and then in the same uh, chain we do another three double crochets so one two and three okay and then skip two chains so I'm going to count one two and in the third chain I'm going to do 
a double crochet okay and then I'm going to repeat that again so skip two chains and repeat the same pattern so three double crochets one two and three and then chain two one two and other three double crochets one two and three okay skip two stitches so one two in the third chain do a double crochet okay and then skip again two chains and then in the third chain repeat one two three double crochets so one two and three and then chain two one two and then we do again three double crochets one two and the last double crochet three okay so after that we're going to skip again two chains and then in the last two stitches we are going to do double crochet in each stitch okay so we're going to count one two and then go in the second last uh, chain and do a double crochet And in the last chain two, do a double crochet. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, so after that, uh, uh, at the end of the chain, we're going to do a uh, chain three, which will count as the first double crochet of the next round. Okay, so we're going to do one, two and three okay and then we're going to turn and after we turn you're going to start uh in the second uh in the second chain so i mean in the second stitch so you're going to count first and two and there you're going to do your first double crochet one and two okay and then after you do your first double crochet you remember in the chain two that we did in between the stitches so we're going to crochet our first our second stitch there okay so we're going to do three double crochets in there and make sure your stitches are loose enough so that your work won't be too tight so we're going to do the first double crochet one and then the second double crochet And the third double crochet and then again you're going to do a chain two so one and two and then you're going to repeat in the same uh, in the same stitch you're going to do again another three double crochets so one and two and three oops okay so one more three okay so this is how it's gonna look like so after that we're going to count three stitches so one two three and then uh, you're going to skip three stitches that is so you're going to count one two three and then here in the fourth stitch you're going to do a double crochet 
so you're going to do double crochet and then after that in the again in the chain two that we did in the previous round we're going to repeat the same pattern that we did over here so we're going to do a double crochet three double crochets so one two three and then you're going to do a chain two so chain one and two and repeat again three double crochet in the same stitch so one two and three Okay, so after that we are going to again to skip three stitches so one two three and in the fourth stitch we are going to do a double crochet okay and then we're going to repeat again in the chain two that we did in the previous round repeat the same uh, pattern so three double crochets one two three okay and then we do a chain two so we're going to do a chain one and two and then we're going to do three double crochet again so one two and three Okay, and then repeat the same pattern uh, skip three chains so one two three go in the next stitch in the fourth one and do a double crochet and then in our previous double crochet we're going to repeat again and do three double crochet so one two and three and then chain two one two and three double crochets one two and three okay so after that again we're going to skip three chains so one two three and then in the last two stitches we're going to do a double crochet each so we're going to do double crochet and also in the chain that we did here at the very end we're going to do a double crochet okay so always remember to do a double crochet in this last chain so that uh, your work will be straight because if you forget to do that uh, your work won't be straight like that okay so and then at the end of another round we're going to start again by doing a chain three so one two and three okay and from here you're going to repeat what we did in our round two all the way uh, to the size that you want your bag to be okay so it's going to look something like this so as you can see mine I want a smaller size so that's why I crocheted uh, this uh, the way it looks so you can see the pattern the way it's supposed to look okay so uh, follow the second round process from here until you have the number of rows that you want and make sure you make two parts because we are going to join the two parts together so when you're done with one with one side make another side uh, so that I show you how to join the two sides together okay so guys after you're done to crochet both sides this is how it should look like so now you're going to place both ends together and make sure they are in line or they are uniform on both sides so after that we're going to join the two sides together like that 
and what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochet all the way around so it's quite easy to join so I already joined the first part so you're going to continue here in the next stitch one end and the other and then do single crochet Okay, and then you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way in each stitch. Okay, so make sure you join, uh, they are both in line together so that it looks neat once you're done. Okay, so the other side and make sure it's, it looks good. Okay, single crochet. and then you're going to continue into the next stitch and do single crochet Okay, so this is how it should look like so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done uh, single crocheting on this other side you're just going to do a chain one and then you're going to cut your yarn like that long enough Okay, and then after that we're going to do a little bit of finishing so I'm going to go into the previous stitch and pull my yarn through okay so you're going to continue pulling it through until uh, it's short enough okay like that okay and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and pull one yarn through okay and then I'm going to tie a little bit, a little knot. Okay, and then cut the little yarn to make sure it's neat. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, we're going to turn the little bag on the other side like this. So we're going to use on the other side. So I'm just going to do a little bit of finishing and cut the yarn that's, pro that's protruding through. Okay, so this is how the bag looks like. As you can see, uh, you, can pick, you can put quite a little bit of stuff inside. And then uh, I did a blue uh, drawstring. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the into the holes and then I'm going to put my little string through like that So there it is and then you can close it like that and tie it through okay so guys I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also you can check out my other videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and until next time bye